State your name for the record. My name is Jason Bourne. Came here to, uh... What is your affiliation with uh, HMS? <laughs> Dude. Wrong movie, bro. Wrong movie. Oh. <laughs> so wrong. My name is uh Double O Sully. <laughs> Double O Sully. Double O Sully. I'm come to take your Ulu tree to my house. Oh, uh, how's it guys? <laughs> how's it everybody? Name's <laughs> Name is Bray. Hey, name uh, is Bray. I work here at the ukulele water. site. I play music sometimes, I like oh to my, sing sometimes. How much can you bench? <laughs> I can bench a solid, uh... Alright, let's get going. Two LNL plates. <laughs> uh, Alright, first song, Cover Me Up from Morgan Wallen.
<laughs> you just kill us. Oh, that's a beautiful song. Good, man. Bruh, so honestly, like, growing up, listening to country was, like, a hard thing for me. I never really listened to country. Like, my parents was all, like, Motown, soul music, um, R&B, all that kind of stuff. So when it came to country music, it was, it was a twang that kind of, like, turned me off. I guess. I don't know. I, it's Hawaiian music, R&B yeah, music. Yeah, I was the same. Well, I mean, you know. Countryside, I guess, was, like. I liked I liked some like and like bluegrass stuff was kind of cool, but yeah, some of the twang kind of like turned me off. But then, some of the best songs, right? Yeah, coming out of country, for sure. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it's kind of like how, uh, cause growing up in Hawaii, we get uh, we ha- I didn't know I had an accent, right? Pigeon, you have an accent. Like we grew up speaking pigeon, but then people from the mainland are like, oh, you have an accent. I'm like. You have an accent, <laughs> but I have no idea. I have an accent. I have an accent too. Um, but the thing is, like, growing up with that twang, hearing that twang, I was like, ah, oh, I don't know if I like this. Like, I feel like they're not. But as I grew older, it kind of just grew on me. Like the um, the lyrics, the vibe. It's like as a kid, I was just always kind of trying to go like and just like oh, something upbeat. I was very. Um, uh, I didn't have taste yet. It was just like, oh yeah. Anything with a beat, whatever rhythm. sounds good. Diddle, 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 diddle. Sounds good. Like any kind of like Michael Jackson or like Earth, Wind and Fire, like oh, anything yeah. flashy and funky. I was like, oh yeah, that's music. I was pretty closed minded as a teenager, like Most thinking of us are. like it's like this Most is what's are. good music, and then just kind of you know. But teenagers you know. know nothing. Sorry for any teenager listeners out there, but nah. you don't know much. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know much yet. You know stuff, but then here's a here's it's, a topic of debate for the night. Which is more country, Kaava or Haleiwa? Oh, you can't tell me that, bro. <laughs> well, he's ha- 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 Haula. I grew right between that. But Haula. I grew Haula. That's more, more country? country than either. <laughs> yeah. How, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, that is true. How long does it take to get to town? <laughs> oh, at least an hour either way. Yeah, right. At least an hour. But the thing is, like, yeah, I call it different things town. Anything that had more than one one way road was a town to me. Anything with more than one Seven Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I had. 7-11 and Tomorrow's. That's all we had was 7-11, Tomorrow's, and a one. It's kind of all you office. need, though, right? Yeah, sometimes it's better Bruh. that way, right? Simplicity. Bruh. This whole body was built off of 7-Eleven goods, cuz. <laughs> Monopoly Park has yeah, Musa Powered by 7-Eleven. Par- <laughs> Bro, sponsor me 7-Eleven, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Yeah, but you honestly, had everything you need a bike right away. Bro, yeah. We had 7-Eleven. We had Tomorrow's. There's a food line in Lightyear. Closed on Sundays. Um, we had uh, no alcohol, no alcohol, <laughs> and then I had a post office, and that's it. That's I mean, had one gas station between us and Kahuku, and one gas station between us and Kaneohe. It was if you like gas, you got to get them when you're coming back from town. Super country, I like it. I mean, I miss it, but the yeah, Hollywood was definitely. I remember you being a punk kid country. too. I was a I was a jerk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was a jerk. Still am sometimes, but uh. It's kind of like I kind of held, I kind of honed it down. You're not at all now. I mean, <laughs> you know, we've had the pleasure of working with you for some time now. You guys might know Bray. Um, if you met him up at the shop, he works at the store. He's also probably boxed your ukulele. Yeah. If but I forgot you know, your case, I'm sorry. I'm just really sorry. being around this guy is always good vibes. Uh, for uh, how would you guys uh, describe Mr. Bray? Oh no, that good vibes and oh. just. Down to earth, hilarious, funny, yeah, yeah, oh, good bro. to be around. Motivational, yeah. Oh, he's yeah. really kind of like helped me get into like working out this year and stuff. Hey, and he's got all the tips, bro. This guy is jacked underneath that shirt. Don't let him fool you, bro. This guy your ass. <laughs> I'm definitely not bro. jacked. <laughs> I don't eat good, bro. This guy eats good. I got, thing. I got abs. I got abs. I have an ab. <laughs> I have an ab. <laughs> one ab. <laughs> Just one ab. <laughs> Nah, but nah, I love working here. Honestly, like um, working construction before this, like every other local guy, was uh, well okay, but it's a good company to work for, bro. I, I enjoy it here. It's close to my house. It's close to my heart, bro. Like music, cool people. Um, it is a good. It's, it's a good, good environment. environment. Yeah, like family here. Yeah, we're all family. Yeah, I got a question for you. Yeah. Are you, are you ever afraid that? You're gonna get too swole to play ukulele. <laughs> Never thought of that, honestly. 
Is but that a, couple, a thing? I don't think so. Because I see some bigger guys than me, bro. Uh, Noah is a bigger dude than me, bro. And that guy... I don't know. You're shit. pretty... Bro. Um, I did cramp up a couple of times when I did chest day. Arm cramps, right? Chest right. day. Like, I reach across and I try to do hammer ons That's why I don't do it anymore, you know? Because I... I cannot. Because I you know, cramp up. And then, so... I hold back. I also don't know how to do it accurately, but... Maybe you should hold back on the lifting so you can do more <laughs> hammer on <laughs> stuff. Like, no ways, bro. Well, you can no bar ways. this cord all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Indention. Whoa, that's a first. Indention. Neck, like, I didn't know the neck could work like that. Oh, yeah. I push too hard, get the buzz. <laughs> nah. It's like, why, why do you have thumbprints on the back of your neck? <laughs> Dude, I'll be pressing on the back of the neck for sure, though, bro. Good thing get the pono, though, yeah? Get the truss rod in the back to give it that extra stabilization. <laughs> so that when I do arm day, I can. I <laughs> pono's made for you. That's why I'm just like, bro, you need a pono because like, you're right. Baritone, too. Yeah. He could just crush those boxes after he packages like, them. Bro, up. bro, do you lift? He's like, yeah, I lift spirits all the time. I lift spirits. I lift spirits. I lift them. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a hallelujah? So are you playing hallelujah. more baritone these days? Yeah. So I like baritone, especially for... um. Like R and B music, some um some music is so high, um like a higher note. So when I play it um on baritone, um I'm still learning the chords. Like I grew up playing ukulele, G C E A. So I just pretty much play the same chords on baritone, and I'm learning the transition that it's like I don't know how many steps down from ukulele, a regular like say like this is a uh, so if you just bar the fifth fret, that's the ukulele. Yeah. yeah. So this would be like a, a C on ukulele, but this is a G. So how many steps down? Two and a half. Two and a half. So that helps like singing any song. So I don't have to belt out every song. So I like it too because... But you're good at belting. You're good uh, at... Uh, sometimes. Can we can we hear some of your R&B styles? R&B? Oh, bro. It's kind of like a nylon guitar, right? The <laughs> baritone. So it, yeah. it... Bro, this is the best baritone, bro. Honestly. Pono Master Series, bro? Like at the, the store, at the store, at the store, I played every single baritone, and I've like done my research on baritones, and so being hooked up with this master series. Yeah, the lattice brace on a baritone is kind of sweet. Volume. Me and Corey, we just did a gig recently, and that, this thing takes over. Yeah, bro, it takes over the whole speaker, bro. What pickup did you put in there? This is a, uh, I think LR bags. Speak, uh, Five oh. Five oh, yeah. Shout out to brother Ben Hackman, one of the one of the best setup technicians setup ever. Yeah. If you guys had um, any pickups in, it's most likely from brother Ben. And in your setup, yeah, he's been doing amazing work for years for us. Yeah. Got to feature him more, yeah. but he's so reserved. so busy. Yeah. So, so busy <laughs> guy. Yeah, he's like just, he doesn't try to like. He's not. Pretty low he's not key. wanting any light shown on him. Yeah, but humble he, guy. He, yeah, he's quite the talent. Humble guy, bro. Yeah, gotta hone that craft in. Gotta hone that craft in before you come on camera. You know, not nah, love that guy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> so Ben's one of those guys. Like when the apocalypse hits, yeah, he's like he's a he's man's ready. man. He yeah, knows. He's ready, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has he has every known light to man for camping. Every known <laughs> knife or fire starter. He has everything. He's prepared. He's the camp master. Yeah, he has, probably has a bunker set up under the house. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt does it. Does he also have MREs? Probably has, yeah. He has <laughs> guaranteed. Handmade, homemade yeah. MREs. Probably making drinks. He's making Molotov cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> he's guaranteed making Molotov. Right? Okay. So, R&B song, what should do next? You do? Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm going to do Gotta let you know that I'm really feeling you 
Soul child right there, dang. Put Corey and Kalira right there. Come on, guys. <laughs> Makes everybody sound, right. sound good. Makes everybody sound good. No, nah. but this is crazy. You sound good by yourself. I gotta, I gotta say, this is the first time I ever put headphones on and listened to. Dude, this is blowing my mind. <laughs> like I'm in a back, I'm in a backyard. 
or I'm on like taco truck surf and salsa shout out coco beer garden shout out but like uh playing stuff like acoustically but being able to hear this like wow we're studio such there. good can bro. you can you teach us the the chords to that one teach you guys oh yeah so this is uh this is baritone so the first chords it's gonna be a little different than traditional ukulele but the first chord is e minor the next chord is d minor the next chord is c G, sorry. E minor, first chord. D minor, next chord. Next chord is G. Or you can uh, do that. Back to E minor. And then to B. Or B7. B7, preferably. So it's kind of shaped like E7 for the little bit, but. <laughs> That's why I do that. I'm not a professional beatboxer, but yeah, it's super cool when you do the beatbox with the whole thing and then. Oh, dude, yeah, it's good fun, man. And, we, and when in live, you 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 the beatbox it. Yeah, you, you do the beatboxing. Like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I gotta check out one of your live sets. Hey, come man, come down. I never bro. go out, but yeah, that's okay. That's I almost okay. did the other night. <laughs> I know. Just, yeah. Sometimes Andrew and I sucks. will have a business meeting at Taps and Apps. Bro, but... bring that down, bro. If I gotta go to Taps and Apps, I'll come. But hey. I mean, like, if you guys ever come, you so, should um, get a gig at Taps and Apps. Yeah, I heard to play like music. There. You, you didn't. Uh, this isn't the first ukulele uh, store that you. I mean, I know you did construction for years, but before yeah. that, right? You were oh, for yeah. music guy Mike. Yeah, Uncle Mike. Yeah. What uh, was that like? Oh, that was <laughs> that was good fun. You should I was, bring up the Friday Follies. Is that right? Oh, dude, yeah. So MGM and his crew, we had um, it was me, Joel. It was um, Brother Chris. <laughs> it's like working with the same people Dude, from yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah, Dude, I want to yeah. see Joel se- at 17 years old. <laughs> yeah, we had we had such. We were all young, and Uncle Mike, uh, Mike would always just take us in, and uh, he was pretty much like our dad because all day we'd spend with him, and then we'd go home and and back he to was work the fun, next day. Right? Fun, fun. He was nuts. Yeah, <laughs> but good nuts. Like everybody that knows Mike, he's nuts. Yeah, everybody has a. Anybody that knows him has a mic story. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Some stuff I can't even say, but it's out of endearment to him. Like, it's, like, the best guy ever. Big heart, super giving, took his time, was patient with us, taught every, all of us that was there, taught everything we know. Like, Joel is solid at everything because of Mike. Like, Mike took his time. Well, we went way beyond that after that period of time. But, yeah, yeah it was a solid foundation. Solid foundation for what? has grown to be the ukulele site and and mike was like and he worked here you know for a couple came, of years before yeah. he passed for his last few years yeah mike was yeah. my mentor for a long time at the Haliva store was he oh, yeah totally i mean he and the even too? even for me you know a lot of the stuff that i mean i'm not aligned with him 100 percent on like how he did business not but yet. he's right about a lot of stuff he's not i mean when i say he's nuts he's nuts in like every facet of life yeah but he, everybody loved him because of it. Like it's like he can't help but like, who is this guy? You know. Joel like, would always tell me the story. Uh, I think I think it's okay to bring it up, right? Joel, <laughs> be like, one time, Mike is chasing Chris around in his bibbities. Mike's yeah. in his bibbities. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah, Mike's in his bibbities a lot. And it wasn't like it wasn't like the creepy dude. He was just the uncle. He was such an uncle, bro. Like, yeah, big time. Yeah, he kind of. He can't be. He it's can't like he cared like a million percent, and at the same time, he didn't give af. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <he's> that's <laughs> literally him. Cared about everything and nothing at the same time. I don't know how that's like. He's like. If you guys knew music guy Mike, Michael Aratani, and you have any uh, stories about him or comments about him, let us know in the comments. He yeah, was post quite your the, best memory. He of, was of he was a real character and and made mm-hmm. a big impression on a lot of people in the ukulele community. Hundred percent. Yeah, I remember. Um, I remember doing the Friday Follies with him, and he that was, was like, some good stuff. <laughs> it's so like unorganized, and he's like, "Kid, learn the chords." Kid, you got the words. Okay, 
print it out. Okay, let's start. And then two takes, and then it was done. And it was like, we're laughing in the background. It's like, if you watch the first one, I think it was the first song we did was My Girl from Temptations. I had Peter, Chris, me, Mike. And Mike saying, was good on oh. keys. He was yeah. good on everything. Damn. He was, good on, he was good on a lot of stuff. And we always were shocked. He's like, oh, I can do that. And we're like, this guy. And he'd play, and we're like, oh, what? Because we're like, bro, this guy is always... He's always talking smack to us, but he could back it up. It was crazy. Like, he actually knew all kind of musical musical stuff. But like then he, he kind of had a humble way of him, too. Of yeah. Just being to like, us, ah, whatever. To I us, he was know. cocky because we were kids. Right. But he wanted to keep us in line. But then everybody else, he's like, ah, whatever. Ah, generous and whatever. But, um, like, he used to just say, like, I just know, like, ukulele salesman style, <laughs> like, half of four songs or something. But he, yeah. he, was, he knew a lot. Yeah, he did. He could jam. Yeah. Yeah, and he's a nice guy. He took he's patient with us. Not much kids, ha- not much guys have patience for kids. Like, it was one, two, three, four of us that were all like barely twenty. I was twenty. Everybody else was like nineteen, eighteen. I was like the oldest one, and and he was patient with all of us. He was like nice. He uh t- gave us gave us our lunch break, bought us food. We could watch um our TV show for thirty minutes and get back to work and then cruise and make make music and stuff so he was yeah he was he was good fun was he drinking at that point a choke okay <laughs> <laughs> and that guy was drinking I, I, I thought there was like Bruh, I don't know if I can say this or not but I bought him so much Mike's Hard Lemonades <laughs> okay uh, I, in the morning first thing grab me Mike's I was like okay that was his it had his name on it <laughs> grab me some Mike's and he's eating he's eating um what is uh Nic- Nicorette gum yeah, yeah, For yeah, stop. Yeah. But a guy is pounding on a whole pack of Nicorette gum. He's just sticking out in his mouth. <laughs> Grab me mics. I said, okay. And I come beast. back. And then, bro, I mean, him almost a scrap. I don't know how many times. Almost a scrap with Mike. Because he's just like, just had a bad day. And I mean, I'm like, I'm short tempered too, like every other local person. But he was like, he would get in my face. And he's like, ah, hit me. Hit me. I said, ah. Cannot. I kind of just hear when guys sitting down that's like scratching his olos in his bed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm not gonna punch Sweaty. this guy, bro. <laughs> Sweating and then like one eye open, one eye closed, ready to go Ruby Tuesdays for drink. Hey, we're leave this part in. <laughs> He used bro. to do that. Hey, you want a donut? And he'd yeah. like pull up his shirt and do this. Bro, <laughs> like, yeah, dude. That guy had zero shame, bro. The guy had zero shame. Yeah, it's all it's all for good fun. Yeah, it's so funny. Also, was the the drink of choice after closing up Hollywood was the uh, twisted tea. That's his thing, bro. It's been that, that forever. Things. He loves hey, every car, give tea. Him twisted tea. Like, all right, was, yeah, grab one for yourself too. We, was either yeah. that or the mango punch from Mike's? Yeah. No, yeah, that was his. <laughs> that was his forever. That's funny that it was like it lasted all the way till he came. Yeah, he was. It. Yeah, he was the rugged uncle. Yeah. But he drank. He drank his liver away, and then was like, "No more liver." He's like, "Ah, I'm gonna keep going." Yeah, but I got to live to the last day. That's for sure. Corey was getting drunk with him at Ruby Tuesday. Andrew's like, "What are you doing, man?" <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna do it anyways. He yeah, wants yeah. to do it with him. You know, he's gonna do it anyways. He wants to just do it with him. That was good fun. Yeah, I missed that guy. And you know, I at, when he was about to die, he told me. I don't regret anything. I had a great life. Yeah, that's him. I remember him always saying, like, live for today. He's like, ah, it's going to live for today. Tomorrow, worry about it. But then he black out for, like, a week. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how was yesterday? Oh, I forget. I was like, but that was a week ago, my dog. <laughs> nah, sure. I remember at Nam, like, he had to, like, uh, extend his... Uh, his return flight because he couldn't walk by the end, end day because he just like just drank party s- up, it parties Ooh, so hard wow. that like rent one handy van now just to get back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, like I can't move I'm gonna have to change my flight Dude, yeah. like seriously <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what what year was that like oh, 10 12 years ago 13 years ago we had so much fun though yeah. But, yeah, I think that's why that's why I like the lure to come back to that whole scene after busting up my body from construction, bro. Like I was like, okay, when the stand, when um, Ben was telling me there was like openings coming up, and Ben would always talk good about everything, and I missed it from when I used to work with Mike, and then I met I met Corey and Tr- and part of Troy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he take that out. <laughs> 
No. I met every. <laughs> I met Corey and then blank. <laughs> and I met everybody at, at the. Hey, um, we love Troy. No, nah, I love Troy too. At the um, it was like the oh, I was a Friday. I think we had like barbecue over like here. Like the Pahana and Fridays. Pahana. Yeah. And then uh, I met Co- uh, Kale after. Kale was uh when I started working at the store. I think it was the first time I actually met you. But uh, yeah, when I first started hanging out, everybody was like, "Oh, bro, easy." That's why, like, construction is not... Most people you work in construction is hard, bro. Like, every local guy is, like, everybody thinks they're a banger. Everybody thinks they're the hardest worker. Everybody thinks, I'm a foreman, bro, and they don't know how to read tape measure. It's funny. Like, everybody's <laughs> the guy. So, 13... Six, six, yeah, 13 seventeenths. Like, Bunch of big <laughs> egos. Yeah. Hey, bro. 13 seventeenths. Carry the two. Carry the two. I was like, carry the two, bro. What two? Where you get your mat from? Public schools, that's why. But. Stuff road? When I came here, everybody is humble and stuff, and it's refreshing, bro. Like a small group, everybody you can trust. Everybody gets along. Everybody's comfortable, humble. And then it's close to home. And then it's fun. It's like, bro. Yeah. You, so you kind of beat that. Fit yeah. in perfectly. Yeah, bro. Down the street. I live right outside in the parking lot. That's nice <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the yellow play. car. Oh, I'm giving Andrew so much stuff to edit right now, bro. Andrew's getting <laughs> headache right now. So much you stuff wish to I'm going to edit that <laughs> Oh, keep. Shoot. Let's keep it all. We were joking. It's like, and he's like, freaking Andrew's going to edit so much. It's just going to be like, <laughs> like in between. <laughs> so, bro, how is the kind? <laughs> thank you for joining our podcast. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <gasps> Good. And then sing. Everything's just a cut. <gasps> Shoots. Nah, I don't yeah. even care. <laughs> Andrew only edits Corey out. Uh, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. No, no, let's get it. Yeah, I'll edit that out. No. no. <laughs> so dumb. It's just me breathing. <laughs> Doing everything's a cut, yeah? All inhales. No exhale. Only inhale. <laughs> All right, boys. All right. Give the people some more music. What if you did, uh... You don't know better Oh, there it is. When you hold me, hold me Kiss me slowly It's the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest thing And it don't change If I hit it my way You would know
say something If you love me, won't you Won't you If you love me, won't you say something If you love me, won't you Love me, won't you If you love me, won't you say something If you love me, won't you Hey, hey Won't you say something Ridiculous, though. Don't sound like this when I play so live. Buttery. Why you guys got so <laughs> much <laughs> buttery biscuit? Bro, this is for this is for Rob, but there's a lot of carry gold in this building right now. <laughs> oh man, we gotta we gotta fly. I missed that Rob guy. Like, this is, we gotta all visit this, that guy. All this butter, bro. Guy, all this Shout butter. out to Rob, bro. It's congealed without you, bro. This butter is congealed without Rob. It's just uh-huh. sitting, you know, and that butter sits in the fridge. Anyways. <laughs> Are you put your butter in the fridge? <laughs> yeah, some Alabama stuff if I don't, bro. Like, they're sitting on the counter. Like, mm. Dude, you guys are... This is, I have a new fawning appreciation for both you guys. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, because I can hear now. Like, it's like my head is by your guys' arm. I hear both you guys like... Shoot, 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 shoot. I can see the... Hoo, hoo, hoo. You know, like that post moves? <laughs> bro, it's crazy, bro. This is nuts. This is nuts for me. Big appreciation, bro. Thank Honestly. you. This, uh, <laughs> I mean, I knew it was gonna be a good session. I didn't. I, I thought it was gonna be way drunker than this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I knew it was gonna be fun. But for me, this is like unreal. All you gotta do is just ignore all the cameras, the lights. The Dude, microphones. yeah, no, I, I just forgot to see even. Start. I forgot I was even here once after the first song. I was like, oh, bro, okay. This is nuts. Yeah. Okay. Um, C sharp minor to a F sharp seven to a G sharp minor. What's the shot minor? Is it this? Yeah. Um. Sorry. I'm not... No, no, no. Uh. So it's like you're playing a uh, D minor, but you're flatting it. Is this it?
<laughs> that is a. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we still. That's a classic Hawaiian reggae song. Roots reggae song. Yeah. Boop. 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 Vein was popping all over here. I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, Fafa Island? Oh, dude, that's a good song. That was it. I forgot all about it when you until you played it. Thank you, Bray. Bro, thank you guys so much. Thank bro. you. Bro, I had a blast, man. This is insane. Just this was enough, but then being able to. Thank you guys. Yeah. Glad. We love you, man. Love you guys too, Raz. It's so, so great to have you on the team. Heck Thank yeah. you guys. We are gonna keep coming back with more music. Can I plug in my friend real quick? Call a Bill, check him out on Instagram. Call a Bill, IG. We got some Call good. Uh, yeah. So uh, got the Poi Pound there. He's putting out some good uh, local merchandise. So if you guys are looking for some Hawaiian, true Hawaiian merchandise out there in the mainland, he has good stuff. Good. Quality, I always thought so. that was a good hat. Nice hat. Yeah, Very and nice it hat. lasts good a color. long time. Yeah, it lasts a long time. Very so. uh. Thick. Yeah. Thick. Thick Soft spoken design. Thick boy tone. Yeah. I like that. It's not in your face yeah. kind of yeah. thing, but it gets your attention. Exactly, bro. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Just in case you get EBT too, bro. Poi Pong. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. We'll we'll be back next week with more Thick Boy Tones. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I love you guys. Thank you so much, man. Oh. Love you too, man. Freaking unreal. <laughs>